So today's the day. Now's the time. You're going to start a podcast. How do you set it up? We're going to talk about that in today's video. What's up, guys? I'm Max. I have a podcast called The Scuttlebutt Show, and people are always asking me how to start a podcast, how to get better with video editing, how to get their audio sounding more crisp, how to set their gear up. So I started this channel all about that. If you want to learn that kind of stuff, then consider subscribing. Today, we're going to be talking about Anchor.fm and setting up your podcast there, which I recommend as your podcast hosting solution. This video is not sponsored, nothing like that. I just found this after a couple of years of using Buzzsprout and paying for it. I found Anchor and, you know, they say when something's too good to be true, it probably is. But in the last three years that I've been using Anchor, it really does not seem to be the case unless you're planning on changing that sometime in the future. But as of August 2022, Anchor is the number one app that I recommend to people considering starting their own podcast. The reasons why I say that are unbelievably, it's completely free. And let's talk about some of the benefits of that. The first benefit of it being completely free is you're talking about data storage. So you're uploading these podcasts and you're talking about what's going to become, if you stick with this, gigs and gigs of online data that is completely free. And you can go back and download these as MP3s anytime that you want. It's really incredible. You get analytics, who's listening, where they're listening and what they're listening on. And in a recent update, which I have a video posted about right up here in the corner, you can even now upload videos with your podcast that will be available on Spotify. So like the Joe Rogan experience, you go listen to the number one podcast in the world and there's a video with that. So you're listening and you can watch on Spotify. You can do that too. And it's totally free. They never ask for any money and you even can get ad sponsorship opportunities so that you can actually earn money. I've earned, I think, a little over $60 through an ad that I ran for the first year my podcast was on Anchor, and it's the they kind of ask you to advertise for them. I'm not sure if they still do that, but they even have that feature going. So not only did I never pay them, but they paid me to put my podcast on Anchor. The benefits go on and on and on. You can even use their audio library, their editing features. You can upload clips like your own ads that you want to run. You can pop that into the middle of an episode using their editing suite. Enough talk, let's jump into Anchor and I'm gonna set up my podcast for this channel and we can follow along together. All right, here we are on the homepage of anchor.fm. And by the way, quick note, Anchor is owned by Spotify, which is part of the reason why they're probably able to do this for free. Spotify makes a ton of money and they invest a lot of money into podcasting. So that is for sure a factor as to why this is all free. So let's go ahead. I'm going to sign up and this is going to be a brand new podcast. Oh God, it's always so stressful. Mountains and hills. Uh, do you guys get nervous on these like I do? I'd like to know now too, at this point, you might've seen that on there. You actually, if you already have a podcast like Buzzsprout or, you know, uh, uh, List, Listin or whatever it is, Lipson, and you want to transfer all of your podcast episodes from that hosting platform over to Anchor, you can easily do that. There's a process. Anchor will, will carry you through that. When I went from Buzzsprout to Anchor, I did that. And all my episodes transferred over pretty much flawlessly. It just took a little bit of time and effort on my part. If you guys want to see a video on how to do that, maybe you're in that same situation. You're tired of paying $30 a month or something like that to have your podcast hosted and you want to switch over to Anchor, let me know and I will try to go find that procedure again and make a video about it for you guys. So as you can see here, I have to verify my email address. I'm going to pause the video now. Actually, I'll just skip ahead so you guys won't have to see that, the magic of video editing, and I'll verify my email so we can move forward. All right, here we go. So as you can see at the very top, introducing video podcasts on Spotify, you can upload a video file. And not only will it upload the video file to Spotify, but it'll still upload the audio to Apple Podcasts, uh, Breaker, all these other ones that I have. I usually just use Apple Podcasts or Spotify, but it actually goes out to multiple platforms. It's so easy. So we'll follow through the steps here to make our first episode. So let's go ahead and we will try to uh, create our first episode. Here you can see it's very simple. If you have an audio file that you want to use, you drag and drop it onto here and it'll start uploading immediately. I'll go grab an old audio file and we can do it as our first podcast on this. So I'm going to drop in an old episode of The Scuttlebutt Show, my podcast, and we will see how easy it is to get set up. So it's uploading now. And what you can see here is you have a library. So anything that you've uploaded, you can re-add to an episode later. So let's say you want to start every episode with an intro and you want the intro to stay the same. You record that, you drop it in, it goes into your library. You can also add songs, which is really cool. So if I want to add a song, add Spotify music to your show, we can do that. We can 
I have, I'll have to go through here and this is a new account. So I have to go here and link Spotify. So let me do that real quick. All right. So, now you guys might know if you if you look up creative stuff, you might know who Harris Heller is. He is a YouTuber streamer who actually has his own music business and he makes royalty free music. And you can find that with the stream beat stuff here. And I can add that to my episode. So this is literally just playing, you know, 30 seconds of free music at the break in my episode here. So I can have this processing and then linearly from top to bottom, this will play first, then this will play. If I wanted to do that, that's how I could do it. Let's see, we have messages down here. So people can literally leave you voice messages and you can use them as part of your episode. So if you want to set that up, I'll try to do it right now. I have this link right here. And if I leave that in an episode, people click that, they can then leave a voice message. It will show up here. You can add it to your episode. So for example, if you want to say, Hey, if you guys have any questions for me that you want me to answer on the next episode, go ahead and drop me a voice message link in the description. They do that. Then you answer that question in your next episode. It's, it's incredible what this thing has to offer and then transitions too. So you can use these transitions. Let me, uh, let me play one for you. You can see what that sounds like. So that's great. If you want to take a break in between ads and content, you can add one of these quick noise uh, or sound bites in there. And you can, let's see, I'll do that. So I have a third thing here. And then using these dots on the other side, see how it goes from uh, uh, hand to text cursor to play button over to hand. I can move that up. And now it will go in order this, this uh, sound bite here, my podcast, and then this outro audio if I want to. And there's a big library of audio in here. And you can also, if you want to, it's going to ask me if I want to give permission for Anchor to use my microphone. You can record your entire episode within the Anchor website. So you can start this tomorrow using your phone or your desktop mic. If you have a good uh, webcam, you can get started immediately for free with a webcam, OBS, your cell phone. You don't need any gear, any fancy gear. It helps. Like I have the Rodecaster Pro 2 review available on this channel, the Sure SM7B. And I've made these investments because I've been doing this for many years. But you can start today with literally nothing but what you have in your pocket using Anchor and be good to go. So if I want to finish this first episode, just save. I can give it a name, a description. I can publish it now or schedule it for later. So you can set a bunch up and have them, you know, front loaded and they can go, you know, once a week or whatever you want to do. And then uh, set up some one cool thing you can do here is add a poll. So you can add a get some viewer engagement by them answering a, a poll. You can have a Q and a so you can get questions from the audience. You can do seasons episodes and label it as an episode trailer or bonus and you can do clean or explicit and your own custom art. And, uh, and then you'll submit it to Spotify. Now, if you want to do other stuff, you can apply for other channels. But right off the bat, you'll be available on Spotify. It's that simple. You don't even have to do anything. I'm going to pause on this for now and save this as a draft. So now I'm back on my dashboard. So I can finish my first episode, go to show setup, set up monetization, and then uh, start advertising and letting people know that you have a brand new podcast. If I go over here to episodes, I have my draft and you can find all of your episodes here. If you go over to your money, which I don't have any now, but you can unlock ads, uh, set up subscriptions. So instead of having Patreon or YouTube subs and members, you can start getting monthly subscriptions right here. So you can start earning money. You can activate listener support, which is like donations. It's all built in and it's all for free. The only other thing you guys might want to know right away is about setting up your podcast for other platforms. And you can go in and uh, set up for Apple Podcasts, Google, Overcast, Amazon, you know, Stitcher, the list goes on. And uh, and all you need are your links and uh, your it, it does all your RSS feeds and things like that for you. It's pretty much automatic. Right away, right off the bat, you can do your first episode on Spotify almost instantly. You know, in five minutes time, if you have some audio ready to go or you want to create some within the app here, it really is that simple. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, consider subscribing to that channel. I cannot highly enough recommend Anchor as your podcast app of choice, especially if you're just getting started. The thing about podcasts is a lot of people start them, they do a couple episodes, and then they abandon them. That's fine. You know, it's an experimentation thing. I have a video right here on why I think you should start a podcast, no matter what, even if nobody listens. It's just a great hobby, creative outlet to have. Check it out, guys. Enjoy. Let me know how Anchor works out for you. 
If you want more information on Anchor, I do have other videos on this channel, so check those out. I look forward to talking to you all very soon. For now, that's your scuttlebutt.